So I'm very excited to share some news about Sigma School and I think it's just an update to our new part-time schedule. So I think it will be so much more clearer on what to expect and this will be helpful towards you in terms of how you're gonna learn in the future as well. So let's get started. Okay, so here's some updates. Basically, to just summarize it, uh, we're no longer tracking in Mighty Network, but on our new curriculum. So we are also upgrading our part-time schedule. So group mentor sessions will be on Sundays, and then fundamental beginner sessions will be on Monday, and then fundamental intermediate will be on Tuesday. And yeah, I think it, makes sense on when the days of the sessions are and lastly all students have to take the beginner test on 20th november 2023 8 30 p.m to 10 30 p.m all right so let's get started on the first one which is we are no longer tracking your progress on mighty network so this is because i think i've already mentioned in a few weeks back that we're gonna not use Mighty Network by the end of this year. So we have moved to the curriculum on our coding bootcamp curriculum. It's more concise and we believe that you can progress faster in mastering your software developer skills, which helps you to have a better chance of landing your first tech job. So therefore, please refer to our new curriculum in this link over here. This is like our knowledge base, CBKB, right? And how are we tracking your progress then? So we first need to go to the slides and take attendance or I will say progress. So this is how we know that you're progressing well in your learning journey. And this is how it looks like, right? So you see the slides to take your attendance. You can either scan the QR code or you can click the link to scan the attendance here. And then you'll be redirected to the form to take your attendance, right? And this will look something like this, this coding bootcamp progress form. So select your name, select your lessons. What is your date? What you have completed in a lesson? Is it a live lesson? or not that's about it so we can actually track and you know see our progress and for me i check and track your progress which i really see very good progress from some of our students as well which is great so if you do not take your attendance update your progress this will be deemed that you'll be inactive which can actually affect your money back guarantee please please take your attendance so next thing is we are upgrading to our part-time schedule so right now this is how it looks like Right now, this is around November 12th, and this is how our current schedule looks like. So on Monday, you have your fundamental intermediate, and then on Wednesday, you have your beginner, and then lastly, you have your promotional test on the 20th and 22nd. So right now, this is our current schedule, and then we have group mentoring on Friday. So the good news is that we're going to upgrade this to the new schedule. So let's break this down. So first is group mentoring sessions where it's going to change instead of Friday, it will become on Sunday. So just to take note, group mentoring sessions are optional. So instead of Fridays, all will be on Sundays, 8.30 to 10 p.m. Right, And we have a total of eight mentoring sessions per batch. So you need to, for those who don't know, for these mentoring sessions, it's only available for the bootcamp students. So this is where you will get to update your progress in terms of your learning, what you've learned and what you're about to do in the next week. And also some topics for you to, you know, better understand when you want to apply for jobs like resume and maybe even mock interviews, right? So this is the group mentoring session on the Sunday. So it will happen on week two, week three, week four, week five of each month, right? So roughly around there. So therefore, in the first month, you have a group mentor se mentoring sessions on week two, three, four, and five. So on month two, because for every batch, there's always a new group mentoring. So on month two, there will be week seven, eight, nine, and 10 for the group mentoring sessions for the second batch as well. So that is about it for the mentoring sessions. Pretty straightforward, I would say. Uh, next one is, let's move on to the fundamentals lesson. So fundamental lesson has been changed to Monday as the beginner and Tuesday as the intermediate and pro promotional test is on the week five. So this is the upgraded schedule for the fundamentals module. So let's break this down and I'll explain why did we change it to these days, right? So number one is beginners, pretty straightforward, I will say. So Monday, every week, there is going to be a lesson and this happens from 8.30 to 10.30 p.m. And we'll cover topics for the first four lessons, which is variables, functions, conditionals, and arrays. So in week five, it will be a promotional test, which tests on these topics on this format as well. So three, three algorithm coding challenges, easy to medium difficulty. And then at the same time, 
one HTML and CSS test, easy to medium difficulty. All has to be done in two hours, so from 8.30 to 10.30 p.m. So we will recommend you to take this test seriously as there's no immediate retaking of the test and the next test will be in the next four weeks. To take note, all students have to go through the upcoming promotional test on 20th November for the beginners, 8.30 to 10. 30 p.m. This is because we are changing to a new part-time schedule and also we want everyone to have a good understanding before moving to the next stage as we have seen students struggle the advanced topics as they don't have a good understanding of the fundamentals. So you might be saying, hey, I've done intermediate. So the thing is that there's no way for me to know that if you're good at intermediate unless I test you. And this is not because, oh, we don't appreciate your progress. This is because we really want to see whether you know and whether we are confident they can move on to the next stage so that you can better understand. So always remember that your basics is something that you need to master. Otherwise, when you go to front end or back end, it's actually harder for you to understand and grasp and also learn and build your projects in the future. So this is, better for you, right? So to also move to the next module, you also have to attend all four classes before the promotional tests. However, for the upcoming on 20th November, 8.30 to 10.30, we will overlook the attendance requirement to ease into the new part-time schedule. So for those who have not really attended the classes here and there, this is fine because we just want to know what's your current stage and everyone will have to go to the compulsory beginner test. And I believe that if you really have gone through the lessons, done your work and projects, this should be okay. Otherwise, then you'll need more time for you to actually pass and be better at your basics, right? The beginner stage. So after this test, then it is compulsory for you to attend all four classes and pass a promotional test to move to the next module, Fundamentals Intermediate. So when will you get your test results, which is the next day? pretty straightforward and if you have failed you will then continue going to the fundamental beginner classes and wait for the next promotional tests in the next four weeks if you have passed then congratulations now you'll be able to join the next module fundamentals intermediate classes so the fundamental intermediate classes is on tuesday and uh, this is where you can only be in this intermediate class if you attend all four classes in Fundamentals Beginner and pass the Fundamentals Beginners Promotional Test. If you don't have these two requirements except for the next few ones, and this will take effect after 20th November because like I say previously, we will overlook the attendance requirement for the 20th November 2023 for you to ease into the new part-time schedule. So that is where after 20th November, we will be very strict that you have to attend all four classes. So the, for the Fundamentals Intermediate, it will happen every Tuesday, 8.30 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. And it will cover topics like objects, DOM, modules, and API. However, you also need to self-learn classes, script and Git and GitHub. So on week 9, so you see on week 9 over here, you'll be going through the take-home project, which is included in the assessment. So this is where you need to submit on week 10. So on week 10, you need to submit your take-home project and pass your three algorithm coding challenges and also complete the API project. So the test cover all topics of the fundamentals module, including these topics in the intermediate and also the topics in the beginner stage over here. So this is because that in basics, literally everything, or in the fundamentals, literally everything is being tested. So if you pass the test in fundamentals intermediate, then you move on to the front end beginner class. So to summarize, this is eventually what the new part-time schedule will look like. So on Monday, you have your fundamentals beginner. On Tuesday, you have fundamentals intermediate. On Wednesday, you have front-end beginner. On Thursday, you have front-end intermediate. On Friday, you have back-end beginner. And on Saturday, you have back-end intermediate. So don't worry, you're not going to attend every single day. You only have to attend the lesson that you are in your current stage. So what do I mean by that? So if your current stage right now is fundamentals beginner, then you only have lessons on Monday. You can ignore the Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday lessons. If you are at the back-end beginner stage, 
then you just need to go to the Friday lesson. And as per usual, on the last week, there will be the promotional tests. So you don't have to attend one lesson per week according to the stage you are in. So all of you will be in the fundamentals beginner stage. So to check which stage you are in, click the link below over here. So let's move on. Next thing is there is some changes to the full-time upgrade. As of now, we're updating our part-time schedule, which has led to a change in our full-time upgrade policy. So unfortunately, we can no longer offer free upgrades to the full-time course. If you're considering making this switch, there will be a need to cover the cost difference between the part-time and full-time course, along with a small administrative fee, all right? So we've seen so far that students who go from part-time to full-time actually progress way faster because obviously full-time is structured and there is, I, from what I see, a better chance for you to actually create better projects so that you get a higher chance in landing your first tech role. Next up is introducing monthly progress reviews. So we are rolling out this system where it allows us to know how you are doing on a month to month basis. So this is where you fill out a form and this will be sent through your email. So this is your space to share your learning experience, progress, and any suggestions that you have for us. Your feedback is invaluable and we're keen to use it to continually improve our courses and support your learning and journey better. So keep an eye on inbox for these monthly check-ins. All right, so that's about it. So to just summarize, we have a new part-time schedule that I believe that is going to make your life simpler. And three things is that, number one, we are no longer checking progress in Mighty Network. Second is that now for you to upgrade to the full time, you need to pay the difference and a small administrative fee. And lastly, we are going to have a monthly progress review so that we know what's up and we can check on you whether you're progressing well or not. So if you have any questions, comment down below and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.